Eric Moss here. Thank you for checking out this channel as well as my video. If you're unfamiliar with who I am, I'm a modern day performing strongman. That basically means that I perform feats of strength as part of what would normally be a live show. However, with the world currently still somewhat in of a shutdown, live shows are few and far between. Now normally I'd be posting a different and unique feat of strength. However, on the day that I'm recording this, this was my late mentor's birthday. My first mentor was Greg Matonic, and he passed away the same year that I started working with him, and I became his last student. Now, this feat is very special to me because it was when I did this feat that he told me it was official, that I was a, officially a strong man, and that was bending a steel bar on the bridge of my nose. Nowadays, I use that as my finale feat to demonstrate what it is that can take us to the next level, which is being willing to give it everything you've got. Now, with my show, after I do this feat, I do reinforcing steel. I bend it on the bridge of my nose, like I'm gonna show you, and then what I do next is I bend it into a ribbon shape and I paint them for cancer patients. These ones are some breast cancer ribbons awaiting recipients. This is on display outside my personal training studio in Bhutan. And I wanted to show you what goes into making these things. So I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes from some of my, one of my previous shows and show exactly what goes into making one of these things. Stay tuned. <laughs> times to make sure that all of the rebar is covered. This can actually be kind of a time consuming process. Because oftentimes areas are missed. And as you can you might be able to see in the video, one coat isn't enough to do it even if it is even more fun. Breast cancer is the most common ribbon. I also do other kinds of cancers. In this case, this is gray for uh, brain cancer. Okay, so here's how the story of rebar to ribbons got started. In my first year, I had bought, like structural steel It wasn't the easiest thing for me to come by. I didn't know about steel distributors and stuff at the time. But I knew about rebar, and I went to the local hardware store and I bought some rebar just to practice bending steel. Now, one of the people that was there for me at a, during my heartbreak, during my, my divorce, um, she was someone I leaned on to for support. And she calls me up and she's like, Eric, I just want you to know that I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. And the only thing that I thought to tell her was you are stronger than this. You are stronger than you realize. And you are stronger than anything that comes your way. You will beat this. And as I hung up the phone, 
I was so upset by the diagnosis that I just grabbed the first thing that I could find to bend, which happened to be the rebar. And then that gave me the idea because the very first scroll that I learned from my first mentor, Greg Matonic, was bending steel into a fish shape, known as a fish scroll. Also, what the ribbons look like. So it gave me the idea to start bending them um, into ribbon shapes and painting them to give them to cancer patients. She was the very first recipient. Later, I had figured, I'm like, you know, I can bend structural steel on my nose. What if I just do the reinforcing steel so that I could pump out more of these to give them to cancer patients and really make something special for my show? And what a better way to pay tribute to some of the people that were there for me at the time that I needed it most? both my mentor and the person whose name I'm going to leave out for privacy reasons. So that is how the story of Rebar to Ribbons got started. And one from every show is gonna be available for someone that is fighting the good fight or in memory of or signifying the strength within. So if you know anyone, please let me know in the comments below. If you're local, I can drop it off in person. But. And if you're not local, the only thing I might charge is just shipping, just so it doesn't uh, dip into my bank account too much when I'm pumping out these in volume. So anyways, if you like the content, please hit, let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more of this sort of thing, hit that su subscribe button. And if there's anyone that you think sh should see this, please share it with them. Anyways, that is it for today. I thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong, stay safe everyone. Eric Moss, over and out.